Hello and welcome to the Multiplayer Space Invaders arcade game, powered by the P2 Physics Engine and the Ably Real-Time Multiplayer API. Alright, we're going to do a brief demonstration here. Um, I'm going to have two tabs open so we can simulate a two-player environment. We're going to have test one here, um, and we're going to create a new room. And the, just a reminder, the uh, goal of this game is to make it to the other side of the canvas alive without being killed by the enemy spaceship. We'll launch a new room, copy the game link, see there's music in the background. As you can see, this is what happens uh, when you don't have any players, enough players in the room yet, you just have this one alien. So now, let's do test 2 over here. We'll paste in the room code, and we are in the game, so I'm just going to go back and forth playing both sides of the game, basically, um, to avoid and hopefully avoid the enemy ships. Oh no! Okay, here we go. You can see the red bullets are the um, enemy fire. Come on, move out of the way. Okay, test one has died. So now, I must... Yep, okay, test two died. And this is the screen that uh, shows whenever no one's won the game. Right, let's try that again. Uh, back to the home page. Alright. See if we can actually make it through without dying this time uh, on both users. Room and the uh, room code is uniquely generated each time. So I just copy this. And you'll notice the score indicator up here in the upper left corner of the screen. This is, um, it goes up every time you evade an enemy fire. I think that's how it works. Um, it goes up in increments of five. Okay, we are now in the game. And it looks like immediately I almost got hit by the enemy fire. Uh-oh. They were trying to escape. I think I'm about to get hit. Yep, test two has just died, and now it's just me over here in test one. As you can see, the enemy ship down there, it can loop. The alien, which is me right now, cannot loop. See, I can't... Uh-oh, it's coming. And as you can see, every, every second or so, um, the alien goes down. I think I'm gonna make it before it gets there. Yes, I have won the game. It's the screen um, that shows whenever you won the game. Now, let's say we were to have a third user. Um... Let's go back to the home screen. Having a third user works basically just the same way as having one or two players. Okay. Test one. We're gonna have test two. And we're gonna have test three. We'll launch the room here. We'll copy this. Over here. And over here. We'll join the room. And then join the room again. Now we have three players to control. All at once. You can see the color for each whoops. The color for each player appears different to each of the players. Like over here it's white. Uh oh, okay, test three has died. Over here it's uh orange and white. For the other players, well, yes, one of them is white or well, yellow. Okay. As you can see I cannot loop around. Only the enemy ship can do that. Uh-oh, it's coming back. Oh no. Yeah, I think we're gonna we're not gonna make it. Oh we are gonna make it. Okay, test one has one, uh, test two is the first runner-up, test three is the second runner-up. Alright, and that is pretty much it for this multiplayer Space Invaders game. I use the Phaser 3 engine as the uh, physics rendering engine. I use the P2.js node module to generate the physics and the crash engine um, for the alien and the bullets. And, of course, I used Ably Real-Time API um, to support the, um, the multiplayer function. Alright, and that's pretty much it for now. I hope to maybe add some additional capabilities to the game in the future, such as maybe a, a chat feature, if I'm feeling industrious, or maybe a, um, a feature that allows you to restart a game in the same room with the same players without recreating the entire room. Alright, thanks for watching this demonstration of the multiplayer Space Invaders game.